You can also create a contact based upon an email message. For example, just go ahead and open up the email from Kerry and right click on the email address and go down and add to Outlook contacts. Now I wouldn't have this if I didn't delete her contact that I had previously from the contacts folder. Instead I'd get edit contact. So all I have to do if I want to add this, well based upon this email address, click on add to Outlook contacts, you get the people pane. Up at the top the name is not the email address but if you want you can leave it as such. I'm going to delete it and type in her name. And then let's see the email address you can click on the plus sign and if there's a title Ms, Mrs, middle, suffix, click cancel, type in a phone number, work, fax, mobile, let's do mobile, do 801 and then click on work, she have a title, department, company, address, birthday, you can click on notes to add some notes, anything about the purpose for adding her as a contact to your contacts anything you want to keep track of and then when you're done go ahead and click save and that's it. No notes have been added. Well give it a second until it refreshes. Add some notes. Okay great. Let's go ahead and close out and make sure close out of that email message. Come down below click on the two dudes to go to the contact folder and is she here? There you go. Now remember previously I had her in the contacts folder with the picture of her. I had to remove her out of the contacts and not just contacts but if I moved her into the personal contacts folder it would still pick her up, just that she's in a separate folder, so I had to delete her and put her in the garbage can. And in any case, double click, well, there's the information. So the only thing it does is bases the contact upon the email address. You just fill in some quick fields, and then if you need to add more details, then of course come over here in the contacts folder, double click to open it up, and there you go. So what I'm going to do here is delete it, and then go back to my trash folder, which to do that, let me come down here and click on the more button and let me go to folders and it updates the navigation pane with all the folder items including some of the mailbox items like the inbox, the sent items. In any case I'm going to the deleted items folder and down here I'm looking for Carrie that has a picture of the contact business card and when I deleted it there we go it's right there. She had some attachments, an image so I can select that and drag it over into the contacts, select contacts, there she is, everything's been restored. Great! As long as I left it in the garbage can and didn't delete it from the garbage can, I can always restore her contact information. Just a holding tank as we discussed in an earlier training video. Double click and everything looks good. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.